in speaking of a matter that is not of your direct control, but is a matter of great frustration to everyone in the in the subways, uh, riding the subways, getting around the city, there apparently is a massive shortage of train drivers, uh, which is causing all sorts of untold delays and, and, and service cancellations. What does it say about the governor's management of the MTA, that they can't find enough train drivers to run the schedules? It raises a real question. Um, look, no one, as we look back on my administration, I think one thing that we did achieve that had to be achieved was finally getting the public debate in this town to recognize that the state had been controlling the MTA for years, therefore the governor controls the MTA, and that there had to be real responsibility taken by the governor, by the state, for that ownership, that leadership of the MTA. For years, uh, the state evaded responsibility and it hurt the MTA and it hurt the riders of the MTA. Um, I think something very good is happening, has happened now in finally assigning that responsibility where it belongs. But with that responsibility comes an obligation to the riders. Uh, clearly, the state of New York is now doing very well financially. Uh, that's a big turnaround because of the stimulus. Clearly, there's nothing more important to New York City and New York State than the MTA and the subways in particular running well. If they've got to find a way to uh, recruit more uh, personnel, uh, whether it's bonuses or whatever it is, that's their job to figure it out and get it done. So I think all New Yorkers should be calling upon the state to fix this immediately. We can't go without train service. We can't have a strong recovery if the subways aren't working. Our last question for today goes to Gersh from Streets Blog. How's everybody doing, Mr. Mayor? You all right? I am doing well, Gersh. I hope you appreciate the constant baseball.